Hey, what's up? Welcome to Degen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Rocket Lab, ticker symbol RKLB. So I wanted to go over this chart because number one, it was requested. And because number two, there are some interesting things going on with it that I'll go over in just a minute based on uh, these drawings that I've made. And so uh, basically what I see with the stock price is that it looks like, uh, to me at least, that there is this notable parallel channel here that uh, begins with the touch point right around the end of December 2022. Uh, and then uh, the top pivot point is right around the beginning of February 2023. And the third touch point, pivot point, is right around the middle to end of October 2023. And so what we see with this is what to me looks like there might be the possibility of a head and shoulders pattern. So basically right here you have the left shoulder, uh, here is the head, and over here uh, we might be seeing the right shoulder being formed. However, it's quite possible that is not the case, but I do think there are some things to be concerned with as far as the more recent price action goes. Uh, but one thing uh, that could be you know, bullish moving forward into the month of January is this downtrending uh, level of resistance, which goes back to the high of, uh, let's see, uh, February uh, 2022, and also this pivot point here around July, uh, the middle of July 2023. And so it's possible that could be touched in the near future, uh, going up to above $6 a share, maybe $6.70 a share. So that is a possibility, but I do think there are some things to be concerned with uh, looking at the more recent uh, time frame. And also, uh, before I zoom in, I do want to point out uh, the volume profile that we have here does look like there could be some resistance moving to the upside around $7.80.90 based on, you know, basically this high here. Uh, and there being some consolidation over here. Uh, and then we do have a lot of consolidation to the downside, uh, going down to as low as like $3.90. So it's possible uh, that level or maybe the top of this volume shelf around $4.30 uh, could serve as support. So something to consider. Uh, but now zooming in, I do want to point out I think that there are some really interesting things with this chart as far as gaps go, and especially considering this gap was recently formed on, uh, let's see, December 21st. And I believe that is related to some news that's going on. Uh, we can check out with this article here what's been going on with Rocket Lab stock. And so if I click on that, it's basically uh, that the company has announced uh, last week securing $515 million agreement uh, with the U.S. government. Uh, so I think it's really good news that they have this contract with the U.S. government, presumably Space Force. Um, so, you know, that is really good for them. They've secured a good amount of funding. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I do think that's great. Uh, but just as far as the chart goes, uh, there are some gaps, especially, you know, this one going down to $4.54.5, uh, which was the high on, like I said, December 21st. There was a gap up uh, into the next day, December 22nd. So I do think that could be filled, especially looking at the volume profile here. That there does seem like there could be some support around there. And looking at past gaps, uh, we can see one that was formed on a gap down between September 11th and 12th. And that was just recently filled. You know, we can see that wick of the candle uh, from December 28th going right up to that level. Uh, pulling back. And so, you know, I do think that this is a nice example of gaps being formed and gaps being filled. Uh, we also have another gap to the downside here uh, between September 18th and 19th. And that, let's see, just about a month later, less than a month later, that gap was filled. Uh, there was also this gap uh, going to the upside uh, between November 1st and 2nd. That gap was later filled. Uh, then, you know, again, more on the short term time scale uh, between December 13th and 14th, a gap was filled. 
uh, or formed and then filled the following trading day on December 15th. So with this gap being formed here to the downside, I do think there is some potential risk that we could be returning to a level right around $4.54.5 or right around $4.50. And, you know, you might argue that, oh, it looks like there's this bullish flag that's being formed uh, with this gap up big candle going up more than 22 uh, percent on the day, uh, December 22nd. Uh, but with this consolidation, we do see that it is uptrending consolidation, which does tend to break to the downside. Uh, so I don't, I wouldn't argue that that is a bull flag. I'd actually say it's bearish consolidation. And what we saw on the last trading day of 2023, December 29th, uh, we saw nearly 5% uh, down on the day, down 4.49%. And uh, so what I would expect to see if this is to be bearish and we are to see a fill to the downside, I would expect to see continuation, another red day at the start of the year, uh, January 2nd. If we do see a continuation to the downside, I definitely feel like this gap will be filled. If we see some support being formed here, uh, right around 550, uh, I do think that this could continue to consolidate more, potentially in a bullish pattern uh, to continue higher, maybe to test uh, this yellow line here. Uh, but one thing before I close the video, I do wanna throw up the moving averages. Uh, I have the 21 day in orange, uh, the 50 day in yellow and the 200 day uh, in uh, blue, and all of them are below the current price. And so if we do get a move upward, uh, I do think that we could start to see the 21 day moving average cross over the 200 day average, which would be bullish. But if we see a continuation to the downside, we could potentially see the 200 cross over these other moving averages on the way down to filling the gap at 454.5. And so, you know, those are my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video and share your thoughts in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching and happy new year.